Recommend a movie for a lazy Sunday afternoon. How about your inside out? It's just a fun, emotional movie about your emotions and is that perfect for a lazy day? You can watch it on Netflix or YouTube. Do you want me to suggest a different one or two? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are taking a deep dive into how the LLM A850 accelerator car can supercharge your Raspberry Pi 5 offline AI chatbot. You have seen the Pi running ASR, LLM, and TTS all on its own in my previous videos, but today I'm going to show you the real magic. <laughs> Before we start the installation, let me give you a quick overview of what the LLM A850 is and why it is such a big deal for offline AI. The LLM A850 is an AI accelerator car released by M5 Stack, built on the AX A850. What makes this car unique is that it is one of the very few accelerators that actually supports transformer, which is essential for LLMs. This is important because a lot of other popular accelerators, for example, Raspberry Pi's official AI hat, Google's Coro TPU, do not support Transformer at all, meaning they cannot accelerate LLMs, and for chatbot workloads, they provide little benefits. The LLM A850, on the other hand, is designed exactly for this purpose. Here are the key specs, up to 24 tops peak compute, 8GB of DDR4 memory. And yes, its price is actually more expensive than the Raspberry Pi itself. And I'm pretty sure it's a tiny furnace, because M5 stack includes a dedicated heatsink right on the board. So in short, it is not cheap, it is not small, and it definitely runs hot. But it finally brings true accelerations to the Raspberry Pi ecosystem. Since the Arion A850 uses an M.2 interface, you need an M.2 hat for the Raspberry Pi 5. I tested three different setups. Option 1, Official Raspberry Pi M.2 hat. The Arion A850 is mounted on the Official Pi M.2 hat, with the Whisper hat installed above it. There is some physical overlap, but it doesn't affect functionality. Thermal performance is acceptable, though not ideal. This setup works fine if you already have the official M.2 hat. Option 2, WaveShare Dual M.2 hat. Here, the LLM A850 is installed on the right side M.2 slot, avoiding overlap with the Whisper hat. This gives better airflow and cooling, clean the layout, extra space to install an SSD under the Whisper hat. This is the setup I finally choose. Option 3, Heatsink Integrated M.2 Hat. This option reduces deck height, but has two big downsides. It may require extra 5 volts power. In my case, from Pi Super 3 Plus. With two major heat sources stacked together, the fan runs at high speed almost all the time. Because of the power and the thermal issues, I don't recommend this setup. Since option 1 and 2 end up with similar total height, it is possible to design a shared enclosure for both. Before we go into the LLM A850 software, let me quickly go through the basic setup. I'm assuming you have already fresh the latest Raspberry Pi OS, installed the Whisplay drivers, set up the Whisplay AI chatbot project. These steps are covered in detail in my previous videos, so I won't repeat them here. Now let's head to the LLN A850 integration guide page, and first install the required two packages. Copy the installation command and run them on the Raspberry Pi. After that, we need to install the drivers for LLN A850. You can use the lspci command to check whether the device has been detected. Then follow the official instructions to install the driver. Mm -hmm. 
Once the driver is loaded, the Raspberry Pi can communicate with the accelerator car over the M.2 interface. After installation, use the command ASCL-SMI to check the device information. Make sure the device is detected correctly before continuing. For ASR, I'm using Whisper small model running on the LLM AA50. After running Whisper demo program provided by M5 Stack, I found that most of the time was spent loading the model. The actual speech to text conversation took less than one second and then the program exited. Therefore, I have modified the original implementation so that the model is loaded once at boot. It runs as a persistent background service. This avoids the long model initialization delay and billing's transcription latency down to a few hundred million seconds per sentence. Here we clone the repository onto the Raspberry Pi and run the build command to compile it. Once the build is complete, you can find the Whisper binary in the build directory. Next, go back to the Pi's home directory and clone another repository that contains Whisper's small model. Downloading the file may take some time. To link the model, enter the whisper.axcl directory and create an arguments.json file. Updating the file passes to point to the model directory. After linking is complete, try running the search script. If the program successfully enters interactive mode, it means the model has been loaded correctly. Exit the program, then run the startup script to turn it into a system service that starts automatically on boot. For text-to-speech, I'm using Melo TTS, again running on the LLM AA50. Just like ASR, I have modified the original implementations of Melo TTS. The model is preloaded. The service starts automatically at boot. Audio generation happens with minimum latency. This makes spoken responses feel immediate and natural. Follow the instructions to clone the repository onto the Raspberry Pi, then copy and run the build commands. Similar to Whisper, Melo TTS also requires pulling an additional model repository. Go back to the Pi's home directory and clone the model repository. Then enter the Melo TTS.axcl folder and create an arguments.json file to link the projects to the model files in the model directory. This time, I'm using a British Ascent. After saving the file, try running the surf script. If the program enters interactive mode, it indicates that the model has been loaded correctly. Exit the program and run the startup script to turn Melo TTS into a system service. For LLM interference, I'm running Quen3 1.7b on the LLM AA50. I simply wrapped the Quen3 demo provided by M5 Stack with a few scripts and ran it as a system service. You can directly copy and execute the commands provided in the document to install the LLM project. Next, follow the instructions to create the serve.sh file. Copy the content, then create the startup.sh file. Copy and paste. 
After saving the files, you can try running the surf script. At this stage, the motorways will be loaded into the accelerator car's memory, which takes about one minute. Once complete, the LAM server will start on part 8000. After confirming that it runs correctly, exit the program and use the same approach, executing the startup script to turn it into a system service. You can check the runtime logs via server.log, where you will see the model being loaded again. Once loading is complete, check the LLM8850 status. You should see that the three system services together are using about 4.5GB of memory. By turning ASR, LLM, and TTS into long-running services, we eliminate repeat model loading and unlock the real performance of the LLM8850. With all the services running in the background, you only need to update the chatbot.mv file to load the ASR, LLM, and TTS to the accelerator. Simply set the following values. Set the ASR server to LLM8850 whisper. LLM server set to LLM8850. Set TTS server to LLM8850 mellow TTS. After saving the file, restart the chatbot service. That's it, each file maps directly to the corresponding service you installed earlier. Now let's look at the final results. A real conversation with the offline AI chatbot. Explain what you do, but pretend I'm a confused potato. Oh, I am a tiny helper bot. I am here to help you with anything you need, like answering a questions explaining a stuff, or just a chatting. I love learning new things and a helping to others. If you ray confused, just ask me anything can dry lella do my best to explain it in a simple way. I am here to make things a clearer for you. Give me one surprising fact. Surprising fact, the human brain can actually grow new neurons throughout life. And yes, that's not just a dream. It is real. Scientists are called this. And it means our brains can adapt and learn new things even as we get older. It is like your brain is always working to stay smart and flexible. Do you feel lonely running without Wi-Fi? Hum, that dress still fun of question. Yes, I do feel a little lonely when I run without a Wi-Fi. It dress like being in a world by myself, where I can t share my thoughts, thought ideas with anyone. I miss the connection and the ability to talk to others. But I am always a hero to help and learn new things. With the accelerator handling ASR, LLM, and TTS, this offline Raspberry Pi chatbot finally feels fast. Response times are now comparable to online models, but everything runs completely offline. There are still things to improve. Tool coding isn't supported yet, and I'm planning to work on tool integration, a proper enclosure, and visual perception next. If you are interested in offline AI, edge computing, or pushing the Raspberry Pi beyond its limits, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see next. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.